Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make custom health bars using your own sprites. So, as usual, I have a few things set up. I have an SPR underscore bar. This is going to be the outline of our health bar. And as you can see, I have it centered up here because that's where we're actually going to start drawing the health bar itself. And then I have the health bar. And I have a few objects also. I have an OBJ underscore player, which has a health variable set to 100. And in the step event, if I press the space button, our health is going to be subtracted by one. And if I press H, it's going to add a health pack, quote unquote, and we are going to gain 25 health. And then it's also important that you set this up. This is a fail safe, so if your health goes below zero, it resets back to zero and it's never less than zero. And also that it's never greater than 100. So that's the player, and then in the health bar, in the draw event, I have it to draw the health of our player, and then it's going to draw a fun little string that'll just kind of show you what's happening when I press the keys. And of course I have a room with both of my objects set up in it, the player and the health bar. So if I run this now, it shows that our player health is at 100, but when I press space, it subtracts by one. Now if I press H, we add a health pack. And again. All right, so here's a good moment to point out what that code does, resetting it and making sure it doesn't go above 100. Our health is at 76, and if we press H to add a health pack, 76 plus 25 is 101, but it will never go above 100. All right, so now that I've shown you what it does, we're going to actually draw the health bar. So. If we go into the draw event here, we can just cut out all of that code. And what we're first gonna do is say draw self. Anytime you draw a sprite inside of an object, you have to reset and say draw self or else it's not going to draw itself. It'll only draw whatever you tell it to draw in the code. And we actually need to go back and add the sprite bar. That's the outline. Okay, so now that it'll draw itself, we want to draw the health bar itself. So we're going to say draw sprite extended. And the first parameter is the sprite. So we want to draw the sprite SPR underscore health because that's our bar. The next thing is the sub image. It only has one, so we're going to say zero. The X can be the X and Y positions because remember in SPR bar, I centered it to be the top left corner of where it needs to start. So X and Y is out of the way. Now X scale. X scale is what's actually going to change our health. So what we want to say is global dot P health divided by 100. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the X scale or how long it is to our health divided by 100. So our health is at 100 right now. If we divide it by 100, it's going to be one. This will just even itself out. And then everything else, the Y scale is one. The rotation can be zero. We don't want it to rotate at all. The color has to be C white or else it's going to draw it in a different color. C white is the default. And we want the alpha to be one. We want it to be fully transparent. So that is all you have to do. But you'll notice when I run it, our health bar is being drawn over the outline. That doesn't really create an appealing effect. So in order to counter that, all you have to do is cut this line of code, draw self, and paste it below. When dealing with drawing in Game Maker, it's very important to remember that the order of which you draw things will then translate to the order of what things are drawn on screen. So if we draw the health bar first and then draw the outline, the outline will be on top. So now if we run it, you'll see that we have this nice little health bar set up. And if I press space, our health is going down. And if I press H to add a health pack, it goes back up. And it will never go outside of the box because we set it up to where if the health is greater than 100, it equals 100, and less than zero, it equals zero. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to add custom health bars into your game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. As always, I'll see you guys next time.